What's going on, guys? Ghost for H Delta X Ray Studios. So, in this in this video here, uh, I'm actually going to show uh, a really short tutorial on how to add an audio clip in blueprinting to uh, add an actual door open and close. Um, something I couldn't find on YouTube, so I thought, you know what? I'll just show you how to do it because it's actually pretty straightforward. I am not a programmer by any means. I am, I strictly do 3D modeling and and that's that's pretty much about it. 3D modeling and textures and that's about all I you know that's where my expertise is more involved in rather than programming. But I just want to show you guys real quick. So I'm gonna open up the oh excuse me. Damn, where the fuck that come from? So I'm just gonna kinda of open up these blueprint this blueprints here real quick. So th this is our ba this is our basic layout. And let me actually go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and delete these here. So when you open up your blue blueprints, for those of you who are somewhat familiar with it, you probably are like, yeah, okay, so I know what he's doing here. And for those of you who have no idea, there is all kinds of YouTube videos that show you how to uh, open and close a door. So I'm not gonna go over how to, you know, set up, you know, you know, event actor begin overlap and enable and disable the inputs, get the player controller and how to set up your timelines and and uh, boolean, you know, I guess that's pretty much a, what a branch is, I guess, boolean, because it's only true or false or shows you a condition and stuff like that. So, so anyway, so when we press F, it's going to go to the branch and the branch is connected, the true is connected to play. So whenever I hit, F, when I hit the F key here, it is going to play this timeline here, which is going to make a rotator. It's going to rotate my door on the Z axis. 90 degrees so and it's gonna have basically kind of like it's kind of doing the animation for me or kind of doing the animation for me so that's that's basically what this setup is then of course false is connected to reverse so now if i press the f key again if it is you know uh greater or less than one uh basically then an event tick goes on it checks it and then we set closed door which closes the door so anyway so now, now if I compile and I save this, my door opens and closes. I can guarantee you that. Let's see, I can even compile it and it's going to tell me it's okay. I can even kind of minimize this. And you know what? Let me save it. So we're going to go ahead. I'll save that blueprint and I'll show you guys. So if I hit play here. Now here's the front door. F to open. F to close. I have to open, F to close. I'll blow it up into uh, full screen. Once again, F to open, F to close. All right. So now you, you see that the script works. Uh, I actually got this tutorial from, I can't remember who it was. It, it was pretty straightforward. It was pretty fast. And I was like, okay, I just needed the basic, you know, how to. So the only difference here is what I'm going to do differently uh, in mind that he didn't do is I'm going to add audio clips. So what basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to play sound at location. Play sound at location. I'm going to connect true to this, uh, to this little marker here and I'm going to execute it into the play. I'm going to control W. I'm going to duplicate this thing and I'm going to do the same thing to false. I'm going to connect it and I'm going to connect it to the reverse. Now what I want to do is I want to come into my sounds and I want, uh, oh, hopefully this is the right one. I actually have a couple door open and close sounds. And then uh, for the false, I want to do door, or that says door close too. I don't think that's right. Let me do door. Okay, good. I, I named them something different. So this is door close too. I actually had multiple audio clips that I was using because I was, um, I was finding them and I was taking them into Audacity. And I was kind of cutting the timelines to get good odd, like to get like what I needed, not you know ten minutes of you know somebody opening and closing a door. So basically, it was like ten minutes of me listening to somebody opening and closing the door and being like, I like the way that sounds, I like the way that sounds, and finding where it is in the timeline and cropping them out. So anyway, we got it. Compile, save. Like I said, connect to true to play sound at location. Connect to the timeline. Connect false to play sound at location. Connect to the reverse. So now the reverse is going to be door close and true is going to be door open. So now I got my door open audio. I got my door close audio, compile, save, save, and I'm going to hit play. 
And now if I open this door, I'm going to press F to go into full screen to show you. Press F. And F again. This, this method can be used for uh, several, you know, actually several things. I even use the same method for the light switch. So I got my little light switch here. Of course, one thing, like I said, I am not a programmer by any means. So if I keep pressing the F key, we get the, annoy, the annoying sound. But I also have, uh, now another thing that I didn't figure, I couldn't figure out is how to actually set it to where the same key would turn it off off and on and that's that will be my next step of trying to figuring out the blueprint so right now I have it set as R to turn off but anyway guys I mean that that was it for th this little video I just kind of wanted to show you guys real fast on uh, just wanted to show you real fast on how to add that audio in so I hope you guys found this video helpful and give it a thumbs up subscribe for more content